Hello and welcome to our exercise with this thing here. This thing is an ultrasonic ultrasonic device. What does it mean? How does it function? There is a, a thing called uh, marked with T, there's a thing marked with R. This is basically a loudspeaker and this is basically a microphone. We can trigger an ultrasonic impulse from here, then this ultrasonic impulse gets reflected somewhere yeah, and we return to here. Okay. The far away an object is which reflects the sound, the longer it will take to return. So that's the that's the basic principle. Yeah. You see on the bottom we have got four four pins. One is marked VCC, there we can connect the five volts, one is marked uh, ground, they have, we have to connect the ground, one is trigger and one is echo. Uh, the trigger pin will trigger the sound and the echo pin will be high as long as the sound needs to return. Uh, so in order to know how long for the ultrasonic, uh, ultrasonic thing it took to, 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 to come back again to our sensor, uh, if we just have to measure how long the echo pin was high. And that's it. This thing looks really somehow spacey. Yeah? However, if you place it in a decent, this here, this here is a self-printed case, yeah? then it already looks pretty solid and rigid. There's nothing else inside than this here. It's just printed out. This one I'm using to measure, to measure, uh, this was the prototype, this was the prototype. There you can see exactly how this was designed. It was just some, some parts. On the background, you see, on the back, you see exactly the sensor. Yeah, it's exactly this sensor. And there I just placed this tube and with the help of this tube I can now put into a water glass or whatever and the water inside the tube will raise and fall yeah? and I can measure the distance to the water and the, the level. Yeah? And this was, like I said, the prototype if this is really working with this wood thing. And this one is the, the printed, still a prototype of course, but it looks already much better. And there's also the tube fitting in, and this looks already pretty much like a measurement device. Okay. But basic is this here. Now let's see how to connect this. Like said, we have to connect four pins. There is power supply, I will make it red again. There is the, the ground, I will make it brown again. And there are the two triggers and echo pins. Trigger is now... I can't... Okay. Did not destroy anything, I hope. Okay, trigger is yellow, echo is orange. Then of course I have my Arduino. I will plug in plus in in five volt. I will plug. Oh, this is not plus, not plus. This was the ground. Five volt, and I will use trigger and echo, and I will use the trigger on pin number. Pin number two and echo on pin number three. Okay, that's the measurement. Okay. Now it's just to trigger an ultrasonic impulse here on the yellow line, measure how long the orange line is high, and then I know what the round trip time was. Let's try to program this. 
again I start by saving it under a proper name it's 36 already I will call it distance 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 measurement okay so I'm again defining my my pins define the trigger pin this was pin number two and I of course have the echo pin this was pin number three of course I have to set the pin modes okay at so also begin again my serial with 9600 and I have to set the pin modes pin mode and the trigger pin is an output of course output and the other pin is an input the echo pin is an input we don't need we don't do not have to need to use input pull up because this thing is doing it setting it to high and low as we expect so this is this is working okay then to, to get the duration i will also again write a, a proper a proper function unsigned long this is my return code i want to get the direction in milliseconds okay get duration How to get the duration? Duration means the duration, uh, how long was the round trip time. I have to go sure that on, on the trigger pin there is a, a pulse. Okay, digital right. So I write the pulse simply. Yeah? I will use the trigger pin and set it to low. Even if it was high for whatever reason, it's now low and then I will delay for two microseconds should be enough to realize to realize for the module that this trigger pin is low then I will set it oops then I will set it to high and then I delay 10 microseconds this is enough to realize for the module that this is a pulse okay then again I have to set the trigger pin to low and that's it for me for the trigger pin okay and then I simply have to return yeah? and then there's a function pulse in pulse in okay it measures the duration on the echo pin how long it is high yeah? and here 1000 milliseconds is the maximum I would say yeah? 1000 one second one second would already be pretty far away we don't have to wait for uh, answer longer than 1000 milliseconds yeah? I mean one second speed of sound 330 meters or something like this 343 <laughs> no 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 up we can measure up to four meters here this is the maximum okay so then in the loop i just have to measure so i'm signed long duration and I will call this get duration function from which I just wrote yeah. if duration is not zero yeah, then I can print out the duration yeah. I will simply say serial.print serial.print yeah. 
measured duration measured duration zero dot print duration and zero dot print it's micros microseconds okay microseconds else we have not received any echo no echo received okay. so up to 100 up to 1000 microseconds just as before I said milliseconds right microseconds this is microseconds of course no echo received uh, and then we have to delay the next measurement we will make in half a second okay Let's see pin modes are defined serial is defined function get duration is defined we measure and print out the duration upload course problem uploading why because I did not plug the hardware Bim -bim. we are on load we are online now we can upload and open the serial monitor and see what it's printing out no echo up to now no echo received so I will just use here my ruler, just use my ruler and see if I can if I can produce an echo. Ah okay, this does not look too good. Yeah. I'm all writing everything in one line. Why? because I have to write here print line of course yeah. upload no echo received 301 around 300 microseconds if I move now closer you see it's less it's 180 right now if I move far away again I'm around at 300 again working nice right so I can distinguish how far we are away huh? by the way this is your task eh? you don't need to print out the microseconds I want to see how many centimeters I'm away okay this this would be your task so this is how it should look like I will again use my ruler yeah. the distance should be given in centimeters yeah. if I move closer of course it should get less yeah. if I move far away it should get more see 10 centimeters mm, maybe accurate huh? but that's another story calibrating the thing good right this is how it should look like no echo received good yeah so that's distance measurement by sound ultrasound okay think about how you achieve this from a duration that you can get the distance 
next time we are going to talk about level measurement with a different approach. We will use a level sensor which is inside our starter kit. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.